Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a second look at the usable shockwave case for the iPad. This is available for the iPad 2, 3, and 4, and will come in three colors, red, blue, and black, each selling for $59.99. In my initial review of this case, I was critical of the fit, and because so, Usable reached out to me and sent along another sample for me to check out, and I must say this one is vastly improved. So let's get right to it. Essentially, this is a heavily protective case for your iPad that comes in three parts, a front screen shield, a silicone layer, and a hard plastic shell. So let me get it all separated and we'll start from the beginning. So take the hard plastic shell and snap the iPad in. Now in my first review, I had a tough time getting this to work. In this review, you'll see it's much better. You get a satisfying click each time as I put the case together. So what I did was I started from the bottom, snapped that in, then went to the top, snapped that in, and then snapped the two sides. And now it is fully installed, fully seated on to the back portion, nice and tight, no issues at all with this version. Then you take the silicone piece and you place it on over top the plastic layer. And there's really no right or wrong way to do this per se. Um, I kind of just go all at it and then go back and adjust because there are like some clip type mechanisms that hold the silicone into place, especially around here. And you just want to make sure that those all line up properly. And then just lastly, give it one last look. And then once that's all good, you can go around the back and like tuck in all the silicone if you want. And the final step, is gonna to be to install the screen shield. And that fits quite tightly. And Usable actually reached out to me to let me know that they designed this case to fit tight on purpose so that it was actually difficult to remove. So, you know, the majority of this, um, the use of this case is going to be in places like schools and maybe other public settings, or even if you're buying it for home use, you might be using it to protect your iPad from children. And you don't want them to be able to get the case off. And um, that would, if it was off, damage your iPad. So with it being hard to remove, there's less likelihood of it being you know, damaged. So finally, I'm gonna put the screen shield on and I'm gonna start in the bottom and then go to the top and just kind of click everything into place. And then one side and then the other side. And the other side, the last side, again, the hardest part is getting that last side on, but it clicks in. And now I have a fully installed, oh, one more click, case and like I said in the initial review I struggled with it on camera um, off camera for much longer here I have the case fully installed in under two minutes and installed correctly it's nice and tight and it's great fitting so as you can see it does have a built-in screen shield um, there isn't any kind of watermarking or rainbowing with this at all it's nice and tight flush to the screen which is a good thing um, one of the other cool things on the front of the case is this special speaker channel in the lower right hand portion of the case which redirects sound coming from the speaker on the back of the iPad towards the front. For me, um, I like to watch a lot of iPad videos, movies and whatnot, and oftentimes I find myself propping up my case and then putting something behind it in order to redirect the sound to me, something like a book or a piece of cardboard. This case does that automatically, which is super cool. Uh, also on the back uh, is the stand mechanism, which kicks out and allows you to place the iPad into six different positions. Uh, three different video angles and three different typing angles. Stand also locks, kickstand locks into place, so it's nice and tight, very stable. You never feel like it's going to tip over. When you want to adjust the stand, you have this slide mechanism here that you can move to adjust the stand, again, into three different orientations. That allows you three different video angles like this, or if you flip the case around, three different typing angles like this really stable in the typing angle. That locking stand mechanism just holds it perfectly. When you're all done, flip this thing up, slide it back down and lock the kickstand down. Now, Usable did let me know that the kickstand is also removable and you can replace it with a hand strap. They didn't send one of those along to review, but they did tell me that was possible. As far as all the cutouts and controls go, I did talk about those in my initial review. They're not covered. And the one for the mute slash orientation switch is virtually unusable. It is so tight as I activated my music. It is so tight that 
it is hard to get to that switch at all. And what I would suggest is if you're someone that relies on that switch, just make that virtual button down here in the uh, multitasking tray your switch instead and uh, you know avoid using the one up here because it's just too hard to get to. However, the volume up and down and the sleep awake buttons surprisingly give great tactile feedback when you press on them, um, even though this has a lot of silicone material wrapped around. So the usable shockwave case, version number two that I was sent, let's say this one is perfect, guys. Uh, at $59.95, it's one of the more affordable cases of this type. It fits perfectly in this version, and um, I think it would do a stellar job of protecting your iPad in whatever setting you had it. Again, being that it's hard to remove means the case is gonna stay on, and that's a good thing. This is definitely not the sort of case that you're gonna be taking on and off on a regular basis. Once it's on, you're gonna leave it on, and that's a good thing. So that's been my quick look or brief re-review of the usable shockwave case for the iPad 2, 3, and 4. This comes in three colors, red, blue, and black, and each sells for $59.99. You can learn more about it via the usable website. That link will be in the video description. Of course, I'd love it if you also hit my annotation link so you can read the full review of this case over on runaroundtech.com. As always, if you have any questions about what you saw here today, feel free to drop me a line down below. Otherwise, have a great day.